Good morning and welcome to Morning Magazine, our RFBS morning show. It is Monday, May 2nd and Rotation Day 3. I'm your anchor, Lily R. Let's get our day started with the Pledge of Allegiance and the Code of Conduct. Doing the pledge today are students from Ms. Osgood's class. Please introduce yourself. Colby, Adeline, B. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Rogers Forge Code of Conduct. I am a Rogers Forge student, therefore, I am respectful, I am responsible, I am safe, I am prepared. We are here to learn. Therefore, I will do nothing to keep my teachers from teaching or anyone else from learning. I will cooperate with my school family. I respect myself, others, and the environment. Please be seated. Good morning, boys and girls. Boy, aren't I lucky. I've been able to sit in this chair an awful lot lately. It's Mr. Holden sitting in for Mrs. Fanshawe today on a beautiful Monday and a lot of exciting things I want to spotlight, actually, that are going on in the library. So it's a good thing I'm on today. Did you know we are just one week away from the start of the Rogers Ford Scholastic in-person book fair? I'm so excited. So all this week in library classes, boys and girls will get an opportunity to preview the book fair. I'm going to have some preview videos of books. I've even got a couple of books and authors that are going to be spotlighted. And we're going to share some of their books all week long. Just remember... Uh, going home this week, at some point, you will be getting a flyer that has some of the best books that are going to be at the book fair this year. You're also going to get a half sheet with some important information. So please make sure your grown-up at home sees that. It has times, and you're going to be coming to the book fair twice. It's been a while since we've done this, so you might not remember that. But we have one time where we come for 20 minutes, and you get to preview. It's browsing time. It's like you're at a museum, and you're looking around. But you're making a list with a clipboard, and you're deciding what books you would be interested in. Then later in the week, you come back for a 30-minute buying time, and you get to choose the books that you want. So it's a great opportunity to come twice. Not every school does that, so it's super exciting. Then the big grand finale is Friday night. Friday night, May 13th, movie night. And before movie night, as a little appetizer, the book fair will be open. And I'm so excited to share that with you. We're going to have a lot of fun here that night. We're going to have baskets with prizes for each grade level. You have to guess the number of colored pom-poms. It's all based on our theme, which is, surprisingly enough, together again. It's Scholastic's theme, too. It seems like it's everybody's theme everywhere. So that's going to be exciting. You're going to be hearing more about that next week. I also want to congratulate my Battle of the Books team, who's been doing a fantastic job all year. They did the final Kahoot, answering questions about 10 of the Black Eyed Susan nominees, which are the best graphic novels and chapter books in the state of Maryland. They did great, and now they'll be celebrating with a party next week. So I'm really excited to share that. So uh, lots of exciting stuff coming up. If you're in second, third, fourth, or fifth grade, you'll be hearing the winners for your class for your vote for the Black Eyed Susan, so I can't wait to share that with you. Make it a great day of learning, everyone, and as always, remember to be kind. Believe it or not, there are no RFES birthdays for today. That means one thing, that everyone from kindergarten to fifth grade gets to celebrate today. Hope you make it a great unbirthday and do something special and fun. We, we want to thank you for joining us today on Morning Magazine. Let's get our Monday off to an amazing start. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for another great show. For my birthday reporter, Johnny M., I'm Lily R., wishing you a great day.